So today is Sunday and that pretty much means it's feeding day. For those who are new, I feed my tarantulas every Sundays. Alright, so what we have is some dubia roaches, some Turkestan cockroaches, and 11 superworms that Elvark didn't finish. Yes, I'm talking about you. I've got in some bread for them to munch on before they get eaten. So I um, just wanted to show you guys. This is my little frog that I just got. No idea what frog it is, but yep, I've housed him in this little enclosure for now. Probably gonna have to change his water soon. All right, by the way, digital gamer. Okay, so one thing weird is that your comment has for some reason been moved to the likely spam I have no idea why YouTube did that if anyone knows how do I get this into the normal comment section please let me know because as for now I'm unable to do anything I can thumbs it up or thumbs it down I mean why would I thumbs it down but as you can see I can't do anything so digital gamer I'm not ignoring you so you ask why is your first reptile so cute so that is kind of the reason why I got him it was because he was cute I know that's not the reason to get a reptile but come on leopard geckos are like the teddy bears of the reptile world but anyways just to let you guys know that why am I, I mean just to show you guys, why am I stuck at this? Why can't I select this and do anything? Alright, just let me know if you found a solution. So without further ado, let's get this feeding video going. Um, so we're going to start off with the Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian red and white. Get a super worm. There we go. Sorry, I met the Brazilian white knee. The Brazilian red white is the Nandu chromatus, that's right. The Acanthoscoria geniculata is the white knee. Here is my Brachypelma classy, sexed female. Very nice. Loving the superworm. Fangs all in the superworm. Damn. And another Brachypelma classy. <laughs> wow. Well, there goes that worm. It's trying to bite the tea, I think. But the venom is gonna act pretty quickly. So that's the end of that worm. Let's get this girl her meal. This is the Nandu Carapoensis. Very good eater. She even eats when she's in Primo. So that just shows what a good eater she is. In there is my Kilobrachis species King Krachan, the Dark Earth Tiger. Let's see if he'll come out to eat. Here he comes. There we go. Some fang action. Oh, sh look at the juice. Worm juice. That is nasty. Oh, damn. I wouldn't want to be that worm. Lassidora parahibana. It's going to drop the worm right in front of him. <laughs> no hesitation. Here's another Brachypelma classy. The Mexican pink. 
Whoa, you don't want a worm? Yes, you do. Just got startled a little. But yep, that is her. So my Serato Jars Darlingy just webbed up above the... Sorry if you can hear that, my dad's watching TV. Super loud for some reason. But as you can see, I cannot lift this up because the web is stuck to the lid. So I guess I'm going to have to open the top here. Well, let's just drop the worm in and see if he'll come and get it. I think he's coming out. Can't really see him. Nope, he's being defensive. Yep, defensive for sure. Oh well, that one didn't want to eat, so let's get this Geniculata a meal. Nice. Went straight for it. Sorry worm, you can't escape just like that. Another Geniculata. I just wet one end of the enclosure just now. And apparently he lights it there. So, let's get a worm in. There we go. So I think I'm just gonna make the dry part slightly damp and give a smaller area of dry dryness for him since he prefers the damp spot so yeah let's attempt this serato gyrus darlingi here he comes there we go Stuck to the web. He'll pull it in. Alright, so I'm out of super worms. So I'm gonna get we're gonna get some Turkistan cockroach action now. This is the Terranochilus Lugardi. Yep, he got it. <sighs> Too bad he didn't come out. But oh well. Let's see if the Hapopelma Hainanum will eat. I'm not sure if you can see him in his burrow. I'm just going to drop a roach in. You going to get it? No? Okay. I think this is the Gramastola Pottery. Could be a rosé, I'm not really sure. But let's hope she eats. Yep. Damn. <laughs> nice. This Nandu Chromatis may be in pre mode and the roach just escaped. Yep, cut it. So let's give this a shot. Yeah, definitely in pre-mode. Wow. That was awesome. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Damn. Okay, let's get this girl a roach as well. Oh shit. Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna open the enclosure, so. Oh god, that was quick. Okay, so in here somewhere is a Tapnikinius violaceus. The purple tree spider. There she is. Yeah, I think she got it. You can see the 
roaches antenna moving yep definitely another T violaceus you can see the butt there we go okay this is the new hotel in C the Trinidad Olive there got it okay so now I'm just gonna drop in a roach for my Lampropelma viola siopis the Singapore blue Yep, she got it, but she is way inside there, so we can't see it, but oh well. Alright, here's my Brachypelma Vagans, the Mexican Red Rump. Wow. <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Just tackling the roach down. Well... That went quick enough. Alright, let's move on. Next on the list is the Brachypelma smithy. Done some construction work in her enclosure. Dug out all the substrate and pushed it to the middle. And she emptied a water bowl. Anyways, let's just get her a roach. Well, it's a him. Get him a roach. There we go. Sorry if that was a little too far. Here is Brachypelma albopilosum, the Honduran curly hair. There we go. Whoa. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Wrestling the roach there. Alright, so let's leave her to tackle down this roach. Wrestle it until it's paralyzed and then, yeah. Then she'll eat it. Let's move on to the next tea. Here's the Orphanacus species blue, Atimonan. Let's get a dubia. There we go. <laughs> oh, is that roach poop? No, it's, it's roach saliva. Yeah. That's gross. Alright, here's the Brachypelma sabulosum, the Guatemalan red rump. His substrate is supposed to be dry, but he decided to tip his water dish, so nothing I can do about that. Let's give him a dubia. There we go. I hope this substrate dries up pretty quickly. I don't want mold to start growing. Then I'll have to rehouse this guy if that happens. Here is Sable Lawson number two. Oop, almost there. There we go. So in this pill jar is a really small Singapore blue. This was one of the new additions that I got. Oh, damn it, the roach decided to run. Attempt number two. Oh, I crushed the roach. Damn it. And there we go. This here is another Singapore blue sling. I only kept two um, out of the five. So I think my friend is keeping three of them 
no 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 I'm sorry uh, my friends keeping one of them and he'll be selling two of them so yep I just brought back two and hopefully one of them is a male so they'll be able to breed with my female yeah that's the single pro blue now we have the dwarf pink lake this is the Cochiana Bruna piece why do I keep crushing roaches but yeah let's hope she I think she got it Did she get it yep she got it she is tiny so I don't think yeah you can see her tackling down that roach really cute and now we have the heterotelli villocella this is a ah uh, this roach this is well let me catch the roach first there we go but anyways this is a small baboon species camera focus they only get to a leg span of about three inches I believe gonna get it I think he's a bit scared of it. Come on. Oops. Oh well, I'll just leave it in. Over here we have the Afonopelma Sea Money, the Costa Rican Zebra. Whoa, okay. Over here, we have the lovely OBT. There we go, that was quick. Oh, there's a molt. Quite an old molt. I just didn't get time to get it out. But yep, that's the OBT. By the way, there's the Singapore Blue with its roach that we couldn't see just now very nice tea let's leave him to enjoy his roach okay so now we're going to be feeding my Tapinachinius gigas the orange tree spider there we go This guy's a good four inches. Probably one more mold, and I will get a rehouse on this guy. This is another tap in the Kenyas Gigas that I will be filming from the top. There we go. That is gorgeous. Take a look at that tea. Wow, stunning. Look at its fluffy orange back legs. That's amazing. Alright, I have no idea where my header scrota maculata is. I believe she's right behind there, but I can't see her. So I'll just drop this roach in and hopefully she'll come out. Well then. This roach is not really cooperating much. Okay, there we go. There, you can see her inside there. Right there. Let's 
There we go. You can see her gorgeous legs. Very nice looking tea as well. They have a ghostly look to them. I just wish she didn't web up everything, which makes it so much more difficult to spot her. But I guess whatever makes her happy, right? Okay. Alright, so in this one we have the Stromatopelma calcietum, the feather legged baboon, which is right there. That roach just made a bad mistake running over there. Well, rest in peace. Okay, so that'll be it for today's tarantula feeding video. So to finish off this video, I'm just going to toss in some baby roaches for this new frog. You can see how he eats. <laughs> He's trying to... No! <laughs> you got to get out. That's the container. Come on. You're smarter than that. <laughs> what is he doing? Mate, you gotta get out. No, get out your bowl. What are you doing? <laughs> this frog's a genius, I'm telling you. Come on. <laughs> what the heck? You okay, mate? <laughs> you gotta get out. Come on, jump out. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll let this frog figure out how to get out and start eating. Alright, peace out guys. Take care. <laughs> Dumb frog.